كل مكان اهلا ومرحبا بيكم احنا معكم النهارده في لقاء خاص مع سعادة السفير بوتابون اتوكسان سفير مملكة تايلاند لدى جمهورية مصر العربية هنتحدث اليوم عن المحطات الدبلوماسية الخاصة بسعادة السفير وأيضا هنتحدث عن دولة تايلاند لو حابين تعرفوا أكتر عن كل هذه الأسئلة وغيرها يبقى تتابعونا وهذا اللقاء شاهدين في كل مكان بسعادنا أن يكون في ضيافتنا اليوم سعادة السفير بوتابون اتوكسان Safir Dawli Thailand Lada Gumhuriyat Misr Al-Arabiya. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure to meet you today. And thank you for this time. Pleasure to meet you too. Thank you for being here. Uh, your Excellency, normally we start by talking about your diplomatic stations, the one before coming here to Egypt. So can you please talk about for us about uh, it for a little bit? Yes, of course. The, uh, well, actually, the, let me tell you the, a little bit about uh, me, myself, uh, in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I, I have been uh, joining in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for maybe 30 years, and uh, this is the first time uh, as an ambassador, ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand to Egypt. Uh, I have been in Egypt for uh, maybe two years and a half, and uh, before Egypt, I, uh, I was posted uh, to Singapore mm -hmm. as my first posting. And uh, I spent uh, four years in Singapore, and uh, at that time I was the, the protocol and the political desk officer. Uh, and after that, uh, the second posting was the New Zealand. I was posted to uh, Wellington. Uh, I spent three years in, in New Zealand uh, as a second posting. Uh, let me tell you about my, my, my postings in Singapore and New Zealand. Uh, when I was in Singapore, uh, Singapore has a uh, best practice about uh, HRD, the human resource development. So uh, I learned a lot from Singapore how to develop their human resources. And uh, when I was in New Zealand, uh, Wellington, uh, New Zealand has a best practice about the food and uh, agricultural technology. So I learned a lot from, from New Zealand. So I. Uh, I try to enhance the cooperation between the two countries in these areas. So this is your first time uh, in a country in the Middle East? Uh, actually, before I assume my duty as ambassador to, to Egypt, uh, I, visit, I got the chance to visit uh, Egypt several times, maybe three or four times. Uh, I accompanied uh, the Thai foreign minister uh, to visit Egypt two or three times a long time ago. And uh, let me tell you something that uh, I have seen Egypt change a lot under the President Sisi. Uh, it's totally different from, from, from what I saw Egypt many years ago. Now Egypt is moving forward to, to, uh, to the developed country, developed uh, con uh, economy. Can I ask your Excellency when exactly you have been here in Egypt before? Uh, the, the year, approximately? Uh, maybe 10 years. Oh, 10 okay. years, yes. Oh. 10 years ago, yes. Yes. Um, so it's a pleasure to have you again as uh, ambassador of Thailand here in Egypt, really. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Going back and speaking about Thailand, can you please tell us about the geographic nature of the Thailand islands, how it is? Uh, okay, Thailand is in the Southeast Asia. Uh, we have uh, neighboring countries, uh, for example, uh, Myanmar, Laos, uh, Cambodia, Malaysia. Uh, actually, the, we are in the so-called Indochina because the Southeast Asian region is, in the, is between the India and China. And uh, we have the, the population of Thailand is uh, more or less um, 70 million, 70 million. And uh, we have a very big uh, Muslim community in Thailand as well. Even though Thailand is a Buddhist country, we have a big uh, Muslim community in Thailand. The population of the Muslim community in Thailand is about uh, 8 million or maybe 10 million. And uh, Thailand is is in the tropical area, so we have uh, summer like Egypt, we have uh, winter like Egypt, and we have uh, rainy season, monsoon season, 
so um, we have uh, uh, maybe three or four seasons a year, and uh, during the the rainy season, we 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 have a problem about the flood sometimes. And uh, the winter season is uh, actually the temperature in Thailand during winter season is not that uh, not that cold. It's uh, maybe just twenty uh, Celsius, and that's it. Um, I mean, compare with the Cairo. Cairo is more colder, more freezing. Yes. That takes me to my next question, which is about the. And being one of the most popular touristic destination Thailand became. Is it because of the weather or what else? How could you manage or how could you do it to become one of the most popular destination in the whole world if we are thinking about the, the vacations or touristic uh, destination? Um, what was the plan that you um, did and you really achieved? Okay, uh, let me tell you about the tourism in Thailand, uh, tourism industry. Uh, in Thailand is one of the most uh, important industries which help boosting our economy. Uh, we have received uh, 39 million tourists from around the world a year, that's before COVID. Um, what attract the, the, uh, the tourists, the foreign tourists from around the world? I guess it, this is my, my personal opinion, is the, our uh, culture because we have the uh, diverse and unique culture and we have uh, nature, mountains, uh, beach, sea, sand uh, and of, of course sun and uh, we have a tropical forest, we have waterfalls uh, all around the country and uh, we have the food which is uh, quite uh, famous among the, the foreign countries, uh, foreign tourists and also we have uh, um, uh, a lot of things for, for the tourists to, to, to travel and to see. And uh, the most important thing is that uh, we have the Thai hospitality, uh, which is famous among the, uh, the tourists. Uh, because in our culture, maybe like uh, Egyptian culture, we treat uh, strangers like our own guests. And we treat our guests better than our relatives sometimes. So this is uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the factors that uh, attract the tourists from around the world to visit Thailand. As you mentioned, your excellency mentioned that Thai uh, has hospitality. That makes me anxious to, more, to know more about the Thai people, the traditions, the customs of the people. Can you tell us more about it, please? Yes, the, talking about the, the, the culture of uh, Thailand or the customs or traditions uh, of Thailand. Uh, let me give you the information about the culture or the customs or the traditions of, of Thailand. Um, the characteristics of the Thai culture uh, is it is the it is the the combination of the local culture mixed together with the Indian culture and the Chinese culture. Okay, yes. And the second uh, outstanding characteristic of the Thai culture is the um, Buddhism and Bamism. Uh, Bamism is the ancient Indian religion. Okay, Buddhism, uh, Bamism, and monarchy root in, in the, our culture. Okay, let's talk about the, the Chinese. Uh, Indian and Chinese culture. For example, for example, um, uh, the Thai people in Thailand. When we uh, when we greet people, or when we want to say thank you, or we want to say goodbye, we will do this. This this is the way that we greet people. And in India, it's the same. The Indian people do the same. Yeah. Do the same. And uh, language, even though we have our own Thai language, but we still have uh, some words or some language uh, from India. It's, uh, we call it the Sanskrit Indian language. We still use that, 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 that words. Mm -hmm. And um, about the Chinese culture that we have in Thailand, 
uh, when, when the Chinese people in China uh, celebrate their Chinese New Year, the Thai people in Thailand also celebrate Chinese New Year as well. And, uh, and also the Chinese uh, people has, have uh, traditions to pay respect to the uh, ancestors. And this is our tradition as well. We pay respect to the uh, ancestor as well. And talking about the monarchy, which is the, the, the main root as well in our customs and traditions, uh, Thai people are royal to the monarchy. Why? Um, in the past, Thailand was an uh, uh, absolute monarchy in the past. Um, during the colonial period, uh, the king is a, was a ruler with uh, absolute power. And during the colonial period, uh, our neighboring countries were colonized by the superpowers at that time. But only Thailand in the Southeast Asia region, uh, Thailand has never been colonized by the superpowers at that time because of the king's wisdom and because of the king's leadership. Uh, he knew how to, um, let's say, play the game with the superpowers. The, he knew how to use the, the diplomacy at that time. So uh, we have never been colonized. And uh, this is the reason why the Thai people uh, adore the monarchy, the, uh, the king and the queen very much. If you go to Thailand and you have a chance to step into the house in Thailand, you will see the photos of the king and queen hanging in the middle of the house. Mm -hmm. Every house, even in the car, they will have a small photo of the king and the queen in the car. This is how, uh, how, how we pay respect to, to the king and queen and uh, how we love our monarch. Your Excellency, I would like uh, continuing about talking about the traditions and, and the custom. Can you please uh, describe to us the shape of the pot we have? What's this pot and these statues? And also, please, this uh, flower pe uh, pot that we have in the back here? Of course, the, uh, let's talk about the, the, the two statues first. Uh, this is the the uh, is that is that statue is an example of the uh, national uh, in Thailand we have a national mask uh, dance uh, uh, in in Thailand and uh, the folkloric this folkloric dance mask for the folkloric dance you have yes it's it's like a it's like a mask over there that uh, the performers will wear a mask and they will do like a dancing uh, on the stage. And this is a very, very famous one. And uh, it is, a, uh, we can call it, it's a national, national uh, uh, performance. And actually, in the past, this kind of mask dance uh, play in the palace only, mm. play in the palace only. But nowadays, the, uh, Everyone can 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 see the can watch the the, the performance in, in everywhere in Thailand, and uh, uh, we call it Khon, K H O N Khon. And uh, the story of the uh, performance is from Ramayana, is from India. As I mentioned to you earlier, that uh, we have uh, Indian culture. And this is very famous one. The Indian culture really have a big influence on the Thai culture also. Yes, of course, of course. And uh, about the boat, we call it the royal barge. This is a boat for the king or the queen or the royal family members when they would, uh, when they want to travel uh, by the river. This is the the boat for the king and the queen and the royal family members. Uh, we will use this kind of boat when we have the big ceremony and the king and the queen preside over, then we use this boat. And this is, the, is, a, is a very famous one uh, among the foreign tourists when they want to, when, when, the, when they see the, the, a lot of badges along the river in Thailand. 
Okay. In the beginning, uh, a shape of a dragon. It's a dragon it's, shape. Uh, it's not a dragon. It's a kind of bird. Kind of bird. It's a kind of bird. Just only the head. Mm -hmm. Just only the head. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking about the the flowers back there. Uh, this is the, uh, we call it the floating containers with the flowers. We will use these flowers in November. And the idea is, uh, this is how we pay respect to the river, to the spirit of the water. Because Thailand is the agricultural country. River is very important to us. So every year, we will pay respect to the river by floating the container with the flowers, candle, and the incense to pay respect to the river. And also, this is from the Indian culture as well, because the, in India, they always pay respect to the Konka River by floating the candle, by floating the candle. Uh, something I would like now to ask you about the Thai economy. What distinguishes the Thai economy? Uh, let me tell you that the Thai economy uh, right now, now this, uh, at first maybe I, I can tell you that the economy of Thailand is based on the uh, liberal and the capitalism economy. And uh, now we are moving towards the, the BCG, we call it the BCG, is bio, circular, uh, green economy. So we are moving towards a clean and green economy. We are moving towards to apply more uh, technology and innovation uh, to use in the in, in our economic sector and uh, to 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 add the value of our own products uh, that's the first one the second one is that we are moving towards to uh, promote ourselves as a uh, investment hub of the region uh, because Thailand is in the heart of Southeast Asia uh, we have the world-class infrastructure for uh, sea, air, land, rail, transportation uh, with the digital connectivity and uh, highly skilled workforce. So we, we, we consider ourselves an a investment hub of the region. Amazing feelings are waiting for you to explore again. Once the world is ready. Until we meet again. Very good. Your Excellency, uh, we finished our meeting now, but please allow us to have another meeting to talk about the relation between Egypt and Thailand. So thank you so much thank you. for this meeting and looking forward for the second one. Thank you very much. Shadina of Kolomakan. كنا معاكم النهاردة في ضيافة سعادة السفير بوتابون إيتوكسان سفير دولة تايلاند لدى جمهورية مصر العربية تحدثنا مع سعادة السفير عن محطات الدبلوماسية قبل المجيء إلى مصر وأيضا تحدثنا عن دولة تايلاند وما يميز اقتصادها وأيضا مكانتها السياحية العالمية بشكركم جدا لحسن المتابعة ولكن بالتأكيد لحديثنا مع سعادة السفير بقية في حلقة قادمة هنتكلم فيها عن العلاقات المصرية التايلاندية فابقوا معنا وتابعوا في الحلقات القادمة وإلى اللقاء